hello everyone today we will discuss a new topic that is reserve bank of india so before discussing reserve bank of india let's explain the introduction of reserve bank of india what reserve bank of india does so we will have to explain it now rbi was established on 1st april 1935 by the government on the recommendations of hilton young commission started as shareholders bank with a paid off capital of 5 crores initially it was located in kolkata it moved to mumbai in 1937 The present governor of Reserve Bank of India is Shri Shakti Kanta Das. There are twenty-seven regional offices. Financial year of Reserve Bank of India is from first July to thirtieth June. Now we will discuss about the functions of Reserve Bank of India. Everybody knows. the reserve bank of india is a central bank of india the first function of reserve bank of india is issue of currency notes the currency notes are issued by reserve bank of india banker to the government so reserve bank of india plays a role and is a banker of of the or work as a banker to the government bankers bank the commercial banks other banks they take the finances from the reserve bank of india as per the policy of reserve bank of india exchange management and control so exchange management and control that is done by reserve bank of india credit control it works as a controlling authority regarding the control of credit and on the basis of credit control the prices are also maintained or the controlled by reserve bank of india by keeping control on credit to decrease supply or to increase supply of money so reserve bank of india works in that directions also agricultural finance this is a very important function of reserve bank of india the finances provided to agriculture sector so that is also taken care by reserve bank of india collection and the publication of data reserve bank of india collected data from the sources which are required regarding the maybe the credit maybe the uh, formation of the policies and publish this data also now we will discuss about developmental and promotional functions of reserve bank of india so that were the general functions of reserve bank of india now we will discuss about the promotional functions of reserve bank of india mobilization of savings and extending banking to unbanked areas so reserve bank of india makes such kind of policies which enhances or to increase the people to save more and also opens or the increases the commercial banks and other banks to open branches in those areas where there is not availability of such kind of the facility of banking so unbanked area that is also covered under reserve bank of india so this is the biggest promotional function of reserve bank of india providing security to depositors as per policy or framework of reserve bank of india so it gives the guarantee to the depositors the about the security of their deposits so the uh, the uh, depositors don't have any apprehension in their mind so their uh, deposits in future they may have any problem so such kind of protection is or guarantees given by reserve bank of india developing of agricultural credit institutions so reserve bank of india also helps it is a promotional function 
to enhance the agricultural sector to provide more and more credit facility to agricultural uh, institutions so that the shape of agriculture or the condition of the agriculture that can be improved with the help of finances. Helping the development of specialized institution of industrial finances. So, besides agricultural sector, the Reserve Bank of India also helps the industries how they can be able to enhance their, their industrial base and uh, by enhancing the industrial base, the Reserve Bank of India provides the industrial finances to industry so that they can increase their growth and they can mushroom themselves. Advisor to the government. The Reserve Bank of India also works as an advisor to government, time to time uh, suggests government regarding framing the policies, maybe the finance policy, export import policy and the other policies which can be able to increase the industrial base as well as to enhance the agricultural sector and to enhance the other small, medium, uh, other kind of industries, medium enterprises. So, that works as a, as a, as a advisor to government also. Now, we will discuss the monetary policy of Reserve Bank of India because the Reserve Bank of India works on the basis of uh, monetary policy. So, first we will define what is monetary policy. The monetary policy of India is the actions and the guidance of Reserve Bank of India as per RBI Act 1934, which was formulated and implemented to regulate the supply of money, interest rates, price stability, the exchange rate of currency. So, uh, we can say that monetary policy is a very, very important aspect of Reserve Bank of India and all these uh, may be regarding the price stability, currency exchange or the uh, to fix the rate of currency by exchanging from the one country to another country or to fixing the interest rates, price stability. So, all these work is done by monetary policy and uh, the Reserve Bank of India uh, uh, creates such kind of atmosphere or frames such kind of good monetary policy. So, that will help to enhance the, the economic growth of the economy and to control on the, on the prices so that the consumers they can also be benefited. Now, we will discuss about the monetary policy process in India, what kind of the process that has been uh, taken place in India. So, we will look upon it. The central government of India forms the monetary policy committee under section uh, 45 ZB, which requires to determine or fixes the policy rate of interest. The monetary policy committee is responsible to establish the targeted inflation rate. So, monetary policy uh, committee is uh, uh, established by the Reserve Bank of India and the work of this committee is to uh, curb or the control or to make the stabilization of the prices so the consumers they may not be affected. The second one is the monetary policy department of the Reserve Bank of India facilitate the monetary policy committee in formulating the monetary policy of India. Further, the Reserve Bank of India analyzes and key stakeholders in the economy of the country also contribute in decision making of policy repo rates in India. So, besides this, the committee also work on it, ki how the repo rate that can be established. So, this committee also works on it. The Financial Market Committee monitors the liquidity conditions on a day to day uh, basis to ensure whether the average lending rate is uh, tending to meet the desired policy repo rate. So, the financial market committee that works on that direction that the day to day transactions that uh, on the basis of uh, desired repo rate that is fulfilled or not. So, the finance uh, financial market committee works on it. So, what we can say? We can say that the financial market committee is accountable to monitor the present liquidity conditions in the market is favorable to achieve the targeted policy rate in the economy. So, what we can say that the uh, 
the responsibility of uh, financial market committee. So, to look, up, look upon that ki what the targeted that set in monetary policy whether they have been fulfilled or not. So, that is totally work on on the, uh, the uh, uh, work of this uh, committee and how the liquidity uh, is maintained. So, the financial market committee works on it also. Now, we will discuss about the objectives of monetary policy. What are the objectives of monetary policy? The first objective is to facilitate economic growth. So, the monetary policy uh, makes such kind of provision or to fixes the rate of interest so that the economic growth in the economy that can be uh, taken place. So, that is also facilitate uh, the industries or the agricultural sector so that uh, the credit requirements can be fulfilled and these credit requirements can generate economic growth in the in the country. Control inflation rate or the price stability because uh, controlling the money demanded and money supply the uh, monetary policy also work on that ki how the prices that can be stabilized. So, the consumers they may not be affected with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, uh, unnecessary changes in the prices of the of the product reduces unemployment certainly because uh, if uh, enhancing monetary policy enhances economic growth so that will generate the employment opportunities to the people and if the employment opportunities for the people will be generated so that will help to reduce unemployment rate in the in the country encourages fixed investment and savings. So, monetary policy on the uh, guidelines of Reserve Bank of India works on that. So, bring such uh, uh, kind of schemes, such kind of the uh, policy so that the investors or the depositors they can be increased to, to make the fixed investment and to increase their savings also stabilizing uh, exchange rate of currency. So, monetary policy also work on that ki how the exchange rate can be stabilized in the economy. So, that the exporter or the importer they may not be affected with it. Uh, participate in priority sector development. So, monetary policy always set uh, such kind of targets uh, or establish such priority sector of the economy which is very very important to enhance the economic growth in that uh, uh, priority sector and monetary policy makes such provision uh, to generate more and more finances for this priority sector so that economic growth can be taken place. Uh, through this chart you can see uh, the objectives of monetary policy uh, already we will have we already have explained on that and uh, in that again I will repeat it uh, the objectives of monetary policy that uh, monetary policy regulates the supply, the monetary policy minimizes the rate of uh, unemployment, maintains the rate of inflation, maintains exchange rate of currency and determines inter interest rates of short term credit. Uh, short term credit we have already discussed in our uh, the topic of the money market and capital market. So, a link is there on the channel. So, you can have a look on it you can go through it. Now, we will discuss the instruments of uh, monetary policy. What are the instruments of monetary policy? How the monetary policy works? Uh, so, we will discuss here. The Reserve Bank of India executes different mechanism and tools to meet its objectives. The Reserve Bank of India has to control the supply of money in the market through a variations in lending or borrowings interest rates. So, the monetary policy works on that ki how the money supply and the money demand that can be controlled and uh, monetary policy works on the directions on the uh, on the guidelines of Reserve Bank of India. So, in addition to that uh, let me explain the major tools which are used by Reserve Bank of India to implement its monetary policy. So, we will be going to discuss that. Uh, what are these instruments? Uh, two kinds of instruments. One is a uh, quantitative and second with the selective control credits. In the quantitatives, we are taking the open market operations. We can see through this chart, bank rate, cash reserve ratio, 
in the selective credit controls we will be taking the credit rationing margin lendings and moral sourcing so we will explain in detail further uh, so through this chart you can have a look on the instruments of monetary policy now we will discuss one by one what are the uh, what is repo rate and what are the uh, the instruments which have uh, we explained through this chart so we will explain it one by one uh, first we will discuss what is repo rate uh, the fixed interest rate at which commercial banks borrowed funds from reserve bank of india against the government securities such as government bonds oil bonds treasury bills or other approved securities as collateral through a repurchase agreement of the same securities so repo rate is a such kind of the short term credits and uh, the uh, the commercial banks they are uh, taking uh, from the reserve bank of india and collateral means jisko guarantee ki baat hum karte hain ki guarantee ke jo guarantees given and specifically the governments bonds and the securities they work on that direction in the in the repo rate now we will discuss reverse repo rate reverse naam se dikh raha reverse so it means we will go we will be going to the other other side directions in the reverse repo rate so it is the uh, fixed rate of interest at at which commercial banks deposit their surplus to reserve bank of india by purchasing the approved securities with a promise to resell those securities on the maturity date this instruments helps reserve bank to such out excess liquidity from the economy so in the reverse repo rate there is a two kind of uh, facilities one for the commercial banks other for the reserve bank of india because it's also increasing the uh, liquidity of reserve bank of india uh, the uh, so the reserve bank of india can use for the enhancement of economic growth in the economy and for other development purposes also and is also helping to uh, commercial bank also so they can also Uh, purchase these approved uh, securities the government securities and these security that can be resell when there is a when there is a maturity uh, uh, time period is there now we will discuss about the liquidity adjustment facility what is liquidity uh, liquidity adjustment facility depending on the current market conditions the facility overnight as well as term repo auction is available under the lf the objective of term repo under lf to increase interbank money market by conducting variable uh, interest rate reverse repo auctions by reserve bank of india so liquidity adjustment uh, facility so the reserve bank of india works on the direction ki how the liquidity the cash flow how that can be the facility and how can be adjusted and how can be facilitate to the depositors as well as to the to the even to the reserve bank of india also marginal uh, standing facility what is marginal standing facility under facility commercial banks can borrow additional overnight funds from reserve bank of india other than repo rate at a penal rate so marginal standing facility is a uh, the sometimes the overnight funds are you uh, are required uh, or the need uh, for the commercial banks so the commercial bank they are buying from reserve bank of india and that is at the penal rate and that is different the, the, the different from the repo rate also now we will discuss about the bank rate what is bank rate it is the rate of interest at which the reserve bank of india read discount bills and commercial papers of the commercial banks it is also used as a penal rate in case of any penalty imposed to the uh, imposed to the financial institutions it is always fixed some basis point above the repo rate so the bank rate is above the repo rate that is higher than that of the repo rate now we will discuss uh, we can say that bank rate that is uh, long term rate interest rate bhi hum isko bol sakte hain uh, now we will discuss about the cash reserve ratio what is cash reserve ratio the cash reserve ratio refers to the certain proportion of net demand and time liabilities of the scheduled commercial banks that have to be maintained 
with the reserve bank in the form of cash on daily basis. So, it is a one kind of uh, you can say that liquidity it is in the form of cash and the commercial bank they will have to keep with the, with the reserve bank of India that is cash reserve ratio. Statutory liquidity ratio it refers to an additional proportion of NDTL uh, already we had discussed about the net demand and time liabilities other than cash reserve ratio that is mandatory to maintain in form of liquid assets such as cash, gold, the government approved securities on day to day basis. So, it is the statutory liquidity ratio is other than that, that of the cash ratio because the cash ratio, cash reserve ratio is a is a uh, you can say that it is a uh, condition on uh, condition imposed by Reserve Bank of India uh, to commercial banks. So, they will have to keep uh, such amount of as fixed by Reserve Bank of India with the help of monetary policy. So, they will have to cap, um, keep such cash flow or cash to the to Reserve Bank of India and specifically the purpose of this to to protect the interest of the depositors. So, there may be if suppose any bank fails or if there is any problem in the future, so the depositor they do not lose their money. So, specifically it is for that purpose. Now, we will discuss about the open market operations. Open, open market operations offer the sale and purchase of government securities to inject and absorb the liquidity from the market. So, open market operations is a work which kind of one kind of you can say that a uh, market and uh, no such place is fixed for that and uh, it is specifically to selling the government security and to generate the funds by or to generate the liquidity uh, by selling the government securities in the market. Now, we will discuss about the market uh, stabilization scheme. What is market stabilization scheme? We will have to discuss. This is a special type of instruments which are implemented to absorb uh, surplus liquidity from the economy due to large capital inflow by the sale of short uh, dated government securities and treasury bills. The funds collected from such activities kept in a separate account with the Reserve Bank of India and cannot be further utilized by the government. This instrument was first introduced by Reserve Bank of India in 2004. So, this is a one kind of facility which is provided by Reserve Bank of India and it is uh, it's a short based the, uh, the uh, you can say the, the securities and trade bills after selling of that and government further cannot use that. So, thank you very much for listening. Uh, uh, this lecture I hope you will enjoy this lecture and please do not forget to put your comment any suggestions and do not forget to subscribe and like this channel. Thank you very much.